Yo, what's cracking guys? David here with Crack and Packs and I'm super excited for this video. I have 26 packs, blister packs of Chilling Rain. I was lucky at my local Walmart. They're all in these, the individual blisters. I have 26 of these. So guys, let me crack all these open really quick and then we'll start cracking into these packs. 26 packs of Chilling Rain. Let's see what we can find. I'll be right back. So all right guys, like I said, 26 packs, 26 packs of the new Chilling Rain. Let's not waste any time and let's get started. And let's see what we can find. And some of these Chilling Rain packs. I'm really excited. There's a lot of cool cards that you can find in Chilling Rain. Let's see how these code cards are. All right, code card. Might be a little bit of a longer video, guys, but uh, make sure and stick around. Hoping that we have some cool finds. Energy, Steeny, Rugged Helmet, Crushing Gloves, Cast Form, Leedy Ba, Golet, Clobopus, Cast Form, Snowy Form, Coughing, and the Saviper Hollow or Saviper Non Hollow Rare. All right, nothing in the first pack. So this will give us a good idea if. The three pack blisters are better than the individual blisters, but I don't know. Code card. Personally, I think it's just all random with cards. I really think it's just a lot of luck. You know, a lot of luck in picking the right packs, but who knows? Crawly, Clobopus, Mareep, Ralts, Cast Form, Rainy Form, Snover. Valerian Farfetch'd, and a Zangoose non-hollow rare. So, all right. Two packs in a row with nothing other than, the, you know, obviously the rares, but. All right, code card. Come on, let's get something good here. Let's find something good. Energy. Seabold, Curlia, I hope I'm saying that right, Agatha, Cast Form, Larvesta, Subble, oh he's so sad, Ladyba, Squavet, Diglett, and I almost thought that was a hollow, but it's not a wall, Walrin non-hollow rare. Wouldn't it really suck if I go through 26 packs and don't really find anything? Ugh. That would not be fun. <laughs> That's a weird looking code card. Look, it's all cut weird. Code card. One, two, three, four. I really hope out of all the packs I picked, I picked a couple good packs with something in them. You know, Ghastly, Coughing, Della Bird, Galarian Farfetch'd, Oregon, Gorn, Nabama Snow. Man, all we're pulling so far is non hollow rares. Come on. Man, I really hope I find something in here. I really hope I find something, code card. One, two, three, four. There's so many ultra rares, secret rares, alternate arts, you know, in this set. I feel like I'm bound to find something, you know, but you never know. Oregon, Grookey, Marip, Rock Ruff. Whirlix, Zangoose, oh, 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 alrighty, I'll take a hyper rare, 
I was just complaining. I was just complaining and then I pull a Metagross VMAX Rainbow Secret Rare. So, guys, let me find a top loader for this and I'm going to look up the value really quick. I'll be right back. So wall right guys I'm on tcgplayer.com and this is this looks like about an $18 card Metagross VMAX secret rare I am super happy to find this guys look at that beauty I put it in a top loader Metagross VMAX how's the centering on it the centering does not look terrible but I am super happy with that, guys. And we have a ton of packs to go. We still have a ton of packs to go. Oh, man. Metagross VMAX Rainbow Secret Rare. Now, I wonder if we can pull an alternate art in here. <laughs> I don't want to get too greedy, but I would love to pull an alternate art out of here. Okay, here we go. Water Energy, Echoing Horn, Seabold, Cur Curlia, Delibird, Galarian Farfetched, Oregon, Heracross, Subble, Tesserina, and Ampharos Non Hollow Rare. Every pack can't be a winner. You know, that's just how it is. Every pack cannot be a winner you know if we found something in every pack it would uh take the fun away <laughs> this pack does not want to open hopefully that's a good sign and it means there's something good hiding in here code card one, two, three, four. Here we go, guys. Energy. Chest plate. Is that Caitlyn, I think? Bakuna. Matata. No, <laughs> cast form. Snover. Valerian Yamas. Coughing. Chuppet. Impact. Energy. And. A Gallade non hollow rare. All right. All right. I'm super happy with that, you know, secret rare. But I do hope we can find something else in here as well out of 26 packs, you know. Code card. One, two, three, four. Energy, Melanie, Laron, Uniform, Subble, Bone Sweet, or Bond Sweet, Furfro, Diglett, Larvesta, Abominable. I actually pulled this card in another video, but this is a good card to pull here. Inteleon, Inteleon Hollow Rare. As far as I can see on TCG Player, this is the most valuable Hollow Rare currently in the set. Inteleon Hollow Rare. Well, I'm happy with that right there. We still got a lot of packs to go, guys, so let's see what else we can pull. I would absolutely love to pull an alternate art code card. I would love to pull any alternate art. That would be awesome. Energy. The Wacky, Echoing Horn, uh, Seabold, Heracross, Subble, Inke, Squavet, Score Bunny, Shuppet. 
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Shadow Rider Cali Rex V Max. I can't remember for sure, but I think this is a pretty valuable card right here. Yo, that is a beauty. Shadow Rider Cali Rex V Max. Guys, let me look this up really quick and I'll be right back. So guys, I am super happy with this card. I put it in a top loader. This is just a beautiful card. Shatter, Shatter, Shadow Rider Cali Rack, Rax V Max. The beautiful card. And guys, I did look up the value here on TCG Player. It says it's about a $28 card, but if I go over here to eBay, here are some recent sold listings. June 26, $21.50. We have one sell for $15, $19.50. There was one for $10, a little lower. But I would say on average, guys, this is probably about a $15 to $20 card. Sometimes a TCG player website can price them a little higher than they're worth. But guys, we have a ton of packs to go and we already got a Metagross VMAX Secret Rare, Rainbow Rare and a Shadow Rider Cali Rex VMAX. Guys, let's go. Let's keep opening up these packs and see what else we can find. And we also found the Inteleon Hollow Rare. I can't forget him. <laughs> let's see how many packs we have left. One, two, three, four, five. I'll put a stack of five there. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Guys, we still have 17 packs to go. We still have 17 packs. And we already have two amazing pulls. That is awesome. Hopefully our luck continues. Hopefully our luck continues and we find some more cool stuff. Code. One, two, three. I would love to find an alternate art or a gold card. Rapid Strike Scroll of the Skies. That's a long name. Dina Tree Hill. Steeny. Swirlix. Sneeze. Uh, Sneasel. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Snover. Blitzel. Ghastly. Greedent. Oh! <gasps> Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Apparently I picked the right packs. Are you kidding me? It's not the Golden Snorlax, but another secret rare and this is a gold welcoming lantern that is a beautiful card and the centering is actually really nice i just said i would love to find a gold card or an alternate art guys if these packs continue to produce produce i think buying the individual blister packs is better than the three pack blisters in my opinion now maybe those three pack blisters i bought just weren't the best but we're finding a lot of stuff here guys let me look up this card quick i'll be right back so all right guys looking here the welcoming lantern welcoming lantern secret rare gold it says it's about an eight to nine dollar card so you know, a little on the lower end for the secret rare values. But if we go over to eBay, you can see one sold for $9, $8.50, $10.99. So I would say it's pretty safe to say that this card is probably worth probably between $8 to $10, but I don't even care on the value. I just think that's a beautiful card. So guys, this is crazy. We still have a bunch of packs to go and we have Two secret rares, Metagross VMAX Rainbow, Welcoming Lantern Gold, and a Shadow Rider Cali Rex VMAX. Beautiful card here. Three great pulls, and we have a lot of packs to go. 
Well, let's keep cracking into these packs, guys, and see what else we can find. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure and leave a like. Leave a comment down below, and most importantly, make sure and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get up to 500. I'm trying to get up to 500 subscribers. And if you enjoy this video, just make sure and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Code card. One, two, three, four. Now really anything we pull from here on is just gonna be icing on the cake because we've already had some great pulls. For Abominable, Scroll of Piercing, Melanie, Delabird, Larvesta, Marie. Guys, I see something in the corner there. I do see something shiny, oh my gosh. Bobapus. Guys, what do we have? Ooh, I think it's an ultra rare. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Galarian Articuna V. Now this is not a full art or a V Max. I think this is just what do you call it? a basic, um, a basic ultra rare, but another great pull. I can actually look up the value of this really quick here. I have the website up. Instead of trying to edit in the values and the prices after I do the recording, it's easier to just look up the prices of the cards and the values while, while I'm recording so I don't have to do a bunch of work after. Well, let's see here. Galarian Articuna V. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, found it right here. All right, so this looks like it's about a $2 card. Pretty sweet. So normally normally the basic ultra rares are not as valuable, but that's a cool looking card. Galarian Articuna V. All right. Let's keep on cracking into these packs, guys. I don't know, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. Are the booster boxes better? The ETBs, Elite Trainer boxes? The three pack blisters? The individual blister packs like I'm doing now? Personally, what do you guys have the best luck in? Right now, it seems like the individual blister packs are doing uh, pretty well for me. Path to the Peak, Hatterim, Golet, Clobopus, Cast Form, Atina, Aaron, Welcoming Lantern. I have the gold version of that. End of Ball Corona. <laughs> All right, so we've had a couple really good pulls. We were um, we were kind of due just for a you know non hollow rare, nothing too special. But guys, we still have a lot of packs left here. We still have a lot of packs, so we definitely have a chance at maybe pulling another secret rare or hopefully maybe an alternate art. Maybe an alternate art code card. That would be awesome. All right, here we go. Energy, Atreem, Fluffy, Kakuna. Matata, Snow Runt, Vinipede, Snover, Valerian Slowpoke, Crab Brawler, Delayed, and ooh, this is actually a really good hollow rare here. This is one of the more valuable hollow rares, a Gengar. Nice. Let me look that up quick. A Gengar hollow rare. That is a really cool card right there. All right, let's go to the hollow rares. Okay, well, it actually says it's about 70. You can see here, it's about 72 cents, so. <laughs> I guess not super valuable, but that's still a really cool card. A Gengar Stage 2 hollow rare. All righty. 
All right, guys, let me do one more pack here that's on the uh, that's in front of me, and then I'll count how many packs we have left. Like I said, anything else that we find is just going to be icing on the on the cake because we've had some really good pulls. Code card, two secret rares, an ultra rare, and that um, V Max. We've had some good pulls. Avery Thawacky. Fog Crystal, Galarian Farfetched Cast Form, Larvesta, Subble, Ladyba, Flannery, and a Weezing Non Hollow Rare. All right, let's see, see how many packs we have left quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, guys, we still have twelve packs left. So plenty of chances to find something else. Twelve packs left. Code card. One, two, three, four. Flannery, Crabominable, Scroll of Piercing, Furfru, Diglett, Larvesta, Inke, Rockruff, Old Cemetery, and a Gallade Non Hollow Rare. It's a little hot here in my office, guys. My um, The other day, my air conditioning decided to stop working, so we're hoping that someone will come over in the next couple days to fix my air conditioning. So if I look a little red in the face, it's because it's um, like 80, it's like 80 degrees in my house, so. Sorry. Drizzile, Peony, Shuppet, Castform, Ghastly, Kubfu, Atina, Lapras, and ooh, okay, an Ice Rider, Alley Rex V. So I'm assuming this is probably like another maybe two to three dollar card. I can look really quick. Ice Rider, Alley Rex V. I would be under Ultra Rare. Ooh, actually, this is a little more. All right, so this is about a $3 card. It's looking like right here. Ice Rider Calyrex V. So I'm happy with that, about a $3 card. Sweet. Like I said, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. I'm having a, I'm having a lot of fun, so... I'm having a lot of fun. Code card. Here we go. Can we get an alternate art? I would love to get an alternate art here. Uniform, Atrium, Flaffy, Sneasel, Galarian Farfetched, Furfru, Venipede, Shfeel, Haunter. Are you kidding me? Did we just pull the same ultra rare two packs in a row back to back? Well, alrighty then. I don't need to look up the value of that. Yeah, we just, what are the odds of pulling the same ultra rare two packs in a row? That, that is a first for me. That is definitely a first for me, pulling the same ultra rare two packs in a row. That's kind of funny. That is definitely funny. Code card. It's definitely better than getting nothing in that pa in a pack, but um, I would rather have a different ultra rare, you know, to add to the collection if I had my choice, but. Uh, Porygon, Whirlix, Sneasel, Snover, 
Spiral Energy. Oh my gosh. A Galarian Rapidash Full Art. I actually pulled this card already. Now I have two of them. I pulled this card in a different video. What are the odds of pulling the same card? That is crazy. This is a beautiful card. I'm happy to have it. Like I said, I have pulled this card before. I'm not complaining because it is a beautiful card, but I have pulled it before. But it's right here. I think it's about a $12 to $13 card right here. Galarian Rapidash V Full Art. Well, alrighty then. I guess I get another one. <laughs> I guess I get another one. I just feel like there's so many cards in this set. What are the odds of pulling the same cards twice? Like full arts and like full arts and ultra rares, but code card? I guess it's possible because I just did it. <laughs> Here we go. Flannery, Old Cemetery. Steeny, Rookie, Sneasel, Weedle, Larian Farfetch'd, Cast Form, and a Tess, Tess Arena non hollow rare. All right. So what do we have? Oh, I just dropped the pack. I just lost the pack. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Six. We have seven packs left, guys. Again, make sure and like and subscribe if you're here, still here, still watching. We have seven, seven packs of Chilling Rain left. Code card. One, two, three, four. Energy. Skies. Dinah Tree Hill. Steeny. Diglett. This is a lot of fun, though, guys. This is a lot of fun. And another Tess Arena. Did we just get that same non hollow rare twice in a row? I'm getting a lot of doubles tonight. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of doubles. Code card. All right, are we gonna get anything in this pack? Let's see. Let's see here. Energy, Reboot, Agatha, Fog Crystal, Shuppet, Cub Fu, Blitzel, Quillfish, Moreep, Ralts, and ooh! Okay, we're getting some pulls, guys. We're getting some pulls. Galarian Slow King V. That's pretty cool looking. Galarian Slow King V. It's not a secret rare. Let me look up this card quick and I'll let you guys know what it's worth. So, all right, as I thought, this card here is nothing too special, but it's still a really cool card. I love the artwork. Galarian Slow King V. It's about a $2 card. So I will definitely add that to my collection. Really, really cool artwork. Um, but yeah, it's about a $2 card there. So we have five packs left. Five packs left. Can we get that Golden Snorlax or an alternate art? Guys, I see something shiny down here. Guys, I was not trying to cheat. Ooh. Code card. Oh, man. I was not trying to cheat, but that looked very shiny, like a full art or possibly like the glitter off a rainbow secret rare. Oh, man. I was not trying to cheat, guys. But I think we might have something good in this pack. Heracross, Subble. Inke, Squovet. Oh, what do we have? Score Bunny. Let's do it very slowly. What do we have? Oh my gosh, what is this? Guys, what is this? 
Oh, an Agatha full art. Look at that evil grin. Oh, let's go. Agatha full art. And I actually was watching a video the other day where they say some people prefer collecting the full arts rather than the like the rainbow secret rare versions. But this is not a secret rare, but this is a full art Agatha. All right, let me look this up quick, guys, and I'll be right back. That is a sick card. So on TCG Player, this is saying it's about a $17 card. Now, like I said, sometimes TCGplayer.com is a little high on the prices. So I would say this is probably between a $10 to $12 card. But this is really cool. Full Art Trainer Agatha. Oh, I love that card right there. So we have four packs left. Let's just continue and go through the last four packs. Hopefully, we can get another sweet pull. Code card. But we'll do, I'll do a wrap up at the end of the video, guys. Like I said, I know this is probably going to be a longer video, but thank you. If you're still watching, I appreciate it. Make sure and smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would appreciate it. No, are you kidding me? Are you? Is this normal? Someone comment right now down below. I hope I get a good amount of views on this video because I'm getting some crazy polls. Someone let me know right now. Is this normal? I only grabbed 26 packs. And I've seen people with full boot. I've never personally bought a booster box. How many packs are in a booster box? 36, 36 or something? I've seen people go through full booster boxes and not pull as many secret rares and good stuff as I'm pulling right now. Guys, we just got a Celebi VMAX rainbow secret rare 199 out of 198. So this is the first secret rare of the set. Are you kidding me? Wow, guys, let me look this card up quick and put it in a top loader. I'll be right back. This is absolutely insane. Let's go. So like I said, guys, this is insane. I just got another secret rainbow rare Celebi VMAX. Just a beautiful card. I feel like I'm having some really good luck on these packs, but let me show you guys really quick. I'm on TCG Player. It's saying it's about a $22, well, I'll just say about a $23 card. But another good way to get, you know, to get an idea of what your cards are worth is eBay sold listing. So we have one that sold for $26, one that sold for $30, one that sold for $20. And up here, $16.50, and the most recent one today sold for $25. So I would say this is roughly a $20 to $25 card. Celebi VMAX Rainbow Secret Hyper Rare. Whoa, that was a mouthful. Guys, we have three packs left. Oh, I'm kind of sad. I'm kind of sad. I'm having so much fun. I don't want this to end, but... I watched a few videos where people were saying that the pull rates are the pull rates are bad in chilling rain, but this is the thing. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my god. Did I just see another shiny edge or was that just the code card? I don't know. But this is the thing, guys. Let me tell you this really quick. A lot of people said the same thing with battle styles, that the pull rates were terrible. But a lot of people were doing the booster boxes or whatever you call them, um, elite trainer boxes. Really what I did, my strategy is I always buy the individual blister packs or, or the three pack blisters. And I pulled two of the golden hound dooms 
um, an alternate art Urshifu. I had some good luck in battle styles, and there's people that will tell you that battle styles was was terrible. And my thing is, I think you have better luck when you just get a bunch of the individual blisters. Um, I don't know. That's just my theory. I could be completely wrong, but I seem to have better pulls when I just get a bunch of blisters. And I think it's a little cheaper than buying the boxes and everything. All right, a wall, Walrin non-hollow rare. I thought I saw a little glitter in that pack, but I think it was just... Uh, I think the edge of the code card was kind of was kind of beat up. All right, guys, we have two packs left. I know this is a longer video. I know this is a longer video, so thanks for sticking it out with me, code card. But we've had some amazing pulls in only 26 packs. All right, let's see. We're down to the last two packs. Are we going to have any last pack magic here? We'll see. Blitzel, Ghastly, Coughing. Oh, what is that? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Zangoose. I thought I saw a little... I keep, I keep seeing things, I guess. I see a little piece of glitter and I'm like, oh, what's that? All right, guys, we're down to the last pack. Are we going to have any last pack magic all right here we go code card last pack Do you have anything good in here for us let's see energy old cemetery impact energy Oregon two squavet score bunny Diglett, Golet, Deerling, Inke, and nope. We're not going to have anything in the last pack, but that's okay. I am not complaining. Guys, let me get all the finds here really quick. Agatha Full Art, Galarian Rapidash Full Art. That's a Full Art Trainer. For the Ultra Rares, we got Galarian Slow King V. Two of the Ice Rider Cali Rex Vs. A Galarian Articuna V. Then here's the best finds, guys. We got a Celebi V Max Rainbow Secret Rare. A Welcoming Lantern Gold Secret Rare. 230 out of 198. Man, that's a lot. A Shadow Rider Cali Rex V Max. Oh, I love this card. Another Rainbow Secret Rare, Metagross VMAX Secret Rainbow Rare. And here are two Hollows as well, Inteleon, Hollow Rare, and Gengar. But guys, like I said, let me know down in the comments. Is this above average pull rates for Chilling Rain? Like I said, I only had 26 packs. Well, not only. That's a lot of packs, 26, but... I've seen people open up way more than 26 packs and they have not found this many good cards. But let me know down below in the comments, guys. Make sure and like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. And until next time, keep cracking those packs. Peace.